All right, good morning, everybody. We are over here at Cowabunga Canyon over in Las Vegas. It's one of our two water parks here. And uh, yeah, we decided to uh, come here and spend a day at the water park. The girls are super excited. They are in the Lazy River right now and I'm watching them as they go along. All right, here we go. That's even better. Yeah, there you go. What a great way to beat the heat in the middle of summer in the Las Vegas Valley. Like I said, Cowbunga Canyon is one of two water parks in the area. General admission is usually about $34.99. We use the pick your day option, which brought our ticket price to $29.99 each. Season passes are also available for each individual water park, as well as a pass that is eligible for both. Before the pandemic, my company used to do family fun days at the water parks. But this is the first time that both our girls have been since they started riding the water slides on the cruise ships. It was great to see them actually use the value of the park amenities this time. What? Oh, five. You guys did it. Why don't you do this one? Oh, we're doing that after we do all three. Okay. High five. Dad, you want to go on the mustard? No. <laughs> My wife normally accompanies us to amusement parks, we haven't really had a need for a locker. One of us will usually stay with our stuff while the other goes on the rides. Since it was just me and the girls this time around, I had to make use. The first time in a long time. And have they come far? You can now request a wristband for everyone that needs access to the locker. You simply scan it, pick one of the open lockers, place your items in, and close it. Then you have until the park closes to access this locker. Super convenient. There are a few food kiosks and carts throughout the park, but the main dining is found at Chowabunga Vittles, Fixins and Grub and Wild Bill's Saloon around the corner. Items offered are typical amusement park food like pizza, burgers, hot dogs, chicken tenders, and fries. Although they do offer an orange chicken bowl, a yogurt parfait, and a Southwest salad. You think? I'm gonna eat a hot dog. Hot dog's a hot dog. The chicken tenders are really well seasoned, except that they're really overcooked, aren't you? And the fries are good, so. It definitely hits the spot. I think it's like typically a water park or um theme park. Or a theme park park food. I agree. I think it's pretty typical. I can smell the fun okay. We're having fun with like later. 
Uh, before we leave. It's better if you roll it. It's better if you roll it. You ready? Set. Yay! Did it? Did you hear my scream? I was like, <laughs> I did. It was like, it was like, I was like, hi, Dad. Yeah, I can't, I can't do the part. It was like, it was like, oh yeah, we went backwards during. <laughs> While the girls really liked the water slides, Emily was still kind of afraid of the really, really tall ones, so they didn't get on those, but they did get on quite a few, which was great, but they actually spent most of their time in the wave pool as well as the lazy river. Of course, those are classics. It's just to just kind of hang around in the water, and that was great fun for the girls. That wraps up our little slice of life in a day at the water park. If you like this video, please click that like button, hit subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified of new videos on our channel. And as always, no matter where you find yourself on this journey, please take a moment, however brief, to take a closer look at life. Bye for now.